Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. I'm glad to be talking about again, one of our favorite investment funds on this channel. I've covered this in a handful of videos before, and it's the BPI ALFM Global Multi-Asset Income Fund. And yes, you read that title, right? Can we get 500 pesos worth of monthly dividends from this fund? This is what we'll look to cover today. So let's go, let's find out. So just as a refresher, the BPI ALFM Global Multi-Asset Income Fund is primarily made up of fixed income securities on one hand. So it's made up of about 60% of this and the remaining 40% is primarily made up of US equities and other global equities. As is also obvious with the name, this fund really invests in the global markets. And as shared with you many times before, I see the value of investing in global markets because the opportunities in these developed economically progressive countries are historically more promising. And if this is readily available to us, then why not, right? So this fund was set up with the objective of giving investors such as you and I a return of 4-5% to in annual dividends, but these annual dividends are to be paid out monthly. So in my previous videos, I did a two-month video on this and I did a six-month video update and it's been another six months. So more than anything, this video is an update on the fund to see how it's performed after having been invested in this for more than a year now. To check on the performance, let's open the Gcash app and go to Ginvest. You can find this fund under the G Fund section. So as we open G Funds, let's click on the fund here. So this is my position right now. It's just a little under 4,000 pesos. Why is my position here so little? Well, I'll share more with that with you later on. And when we scroll down, we see here that the past one year return is at negative 6.55%. We see that it's unfortunately still in the red. Even though it's still in the red, where this fund can perform, as previously mentioned, would be in terms of its monthly dividends. So with this, we can check our emails. When my investment was only 1,000 pesos, I was routinely getting about 4 pesos or more every month. And as I increased my position in the past few months, my new monthly dividends are now at a little over 18 pesos, more than even a fourfold from the 4 pesos. This fund is actually performing quite encouragingly. And if we do the math, my investment of 4,000 pesos is just about under 3,900 pesos right now. So it's a loss of about 800 pesos. So that's not all that big, right? So if this fund continues to perform accordingly, my 18 pesos after a 12 month period would be a little over 200 pesos, still performing within the objective of the 4 to 5% return that it's looking to do. So if I'm just losing 100 pesos right now and this fund can deliver more than 200 pesos after one year in terms of monthly dividends, then I think this fund, even though it's underperforming right now in terms of its nav pool, will actually make up its lost ground. Okay, okay. So how do we get to 500 pesos of monthly dividends? So as mentioned earlier, I actually don't put too much in G-Invest. Not so much that I have anything against G-Invest or G-Cash or anything like that. I have been invested in this fund via BPI even before this fund launched with G-Invest. So I've already had a more sizable position on this via BPI and my money comes in via BPI since this is exactly the same fund in G-Invest. So I don't really see the need to have to transfer it from BPI to Gcash and to G-Invest. So for my position in this via BPI, I've actually increased it steadily. Right now, it comes out to a total of 71,000 pesos. Its current value stands at a little under 68,000. So that's about a paper loss of 3,000 pesos. As I've grown my position here in the past few months, my dividends are actually a little over 300 pesos monthly. My 300 pesos in dividends here after one year will be more than 3,000 pesos already. So this will again more than offshoot its losses in terms of its NAVFU. And who knows, by then the NAVFU may already be up as well. So not only will I get good dividends, but also maybe hopefully the NAVFU will have increased 
and be yielding me great returns by then. So how do we get 500 pesos worth of monthly dividends? So doing the math, I have to steadily increase my investment here if I inch towards a total investment of about 100,000 pesos then I can already get this monthly dividend goal of 500 pesos monthly. Is it gonna be easy? Of course not. I think we have to save a little here and there. Is it gonna be worthwhile? I definitely think so. Um, I do like the idea of getting 500 pesos monthly uh, free and clear. Of course, there are other options out there. There are local stocks that routinely declare dividends. But for now, this is a fund, a product that I could vouch for that I see after being around and having invested in it in the last two years. I see that this fund is promising. Again, it has its downs because in terms of the nav pool, it's not performing as great. But again, in terms of monthly dividends, I think it more than just balances it out and eventually we come out ahead. So what do you think? Do you think it's worthwhile to put so much in this fund just for you to live off the idea and the financial gain of getting 500 pesos worth of dividends monthly? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing. Thank you.